Hello, this is Bonsai, or known as XL, and I got something pretty damn cooked up for you guys today. And, um, meaning it's a good old fashioned, way back in the past, GOG. Now, I was fighting this uh, specific guy, and this guy, he was pretty damn good, but he lost, like, against, like, three matches against me. But the thing is, like, I gave him chances to fight you know against me in these matches and you know the the problem is is that you know I was just like a few steps ahead of him and you know he just made you know a lot of specific mistakes which is you know kind of normal happens to me happens to people but you know yeah I was going through this whole section I was like alright I'm going to use the F3 I really want to use this mobile suit but then you know something clicked and I was like, oh yeah, I'm using the GOG. I'm using this banana mobile suit. I'm using this thing. And as you can see, I had really bad custom parts from way back. And um, I wanted to hook up some really nice specific parts onto this mobile suit. Because what this mobile suit is really, really amazing in is melee. Melee is the key of this mobile suit. And um, I'm like, yeah, all right. So you you can just fill out whatever sort of spots on this mall so you can go for it. Um, I wanted to put a bunch of things in here, blah blah blah. Now I wanted to fill out every single slot in this mall suit because I basically had all the parts, and since there were basically new parts of the game, I wanted to, you know, have fun. And um, I was able to put some new parts on a lot of these mobile suits. And as you can see, I was using this GOG. Now, the GOG is a reward that you can only get in Halloween. But I think later on in the future, they're going to probably release this as a, you know, a unlockable mobile suit. Like the Gun Cannon SML, they made it unlockable for people who wasn't able to receive it. And, you know, like, man, I paid good money for it, and <laughs> now it's unlockable. Yay. But, you know, using this mobile suit, it's really, really fun, really beastly, really amazing. Now, one thing to have in mind is that this is a GOG. And, oh my GOG. This is freaking fun. I swear to god, um, I haven't been using this GOG for a very long time. And I wanted to go 1v1 on some players. And I haven't been able to get 1v1s on players lately. Because a lot of players just don't want to jump into my lobbies. Um, you know, I understand. But I have a feeling it has something to do with the internet and blah blah blah. And this and that. And as you can see, I was able to just stop him in the tracks, and he was using a general, and I was using a raid. You know what I mean, like, what the heck? <laughs> the game's o the, the, that that fight was over. Damn. Now, um, I swear to God, every single time when I'm trying to do one v ones, you know, think of it as you know, Street Fighter one v one. You know, think of it as you know, Dragon Ball Z one v ones. You know, um. That's that's the cool thing about this game. You can go, you know, two v twos. You go one v ones. You can do some really nice, crazy stuff. And you know, the good thing about this mobile suit is that it's got a really nice stagger option. And the uh, stagger option is the rockets. Um, the beam, um, chest guns. You have to shoot twice and stagger twice. As you can see, this man can can't like basically do anything. Um, the reason why is because you know it's a big old target and the only thing he can do to me is downswing me so you know when someone downswings you in this mobile suit you can literally you know tell when someone's trying to downswing you now when you're using a bazooka on this mobile suit it's basically immune when you're using a you know flash grenade on this mobile suit it is immune but it really depends in certain moments now right over here I messed up but you know other players are able to catch you know me a mile away which I didn't understand why I did that not catch goddamn GBO2 
Now I want to get close up to this guy. He can't do anything. Rushed him. Boom. That's the thing about this mobile suit. The the power of this mobile suit is the melee. The melee is the majority of the the sweet spot of this mobile suit. If you go for you know range boost, I I can't believe my my tackle did not catch him. I'm like okay whatever. Now <laughs> Gog is life, man. You gotta know the way of the Gog. And this man right here, he is a very, very high tier player. He's way up there. Way up there. And um, he's really good. And throughout this whole match, he wasn't missing his shots. But, you know, fighting this Gog, yeah, it's basically very, very hard to, to work with what you have on a, um, a ground type and trying to like you have to have like at least two bazookas you know what I mean two bazooka shots on this mobile suit like if there were two two enemy players using two bazookas they can stagger this thing but you know if it's just only one dude using one bazooka you know you can literally shrug off these freaking bullets with this thing and this guy this mobile suit is a fun big thick boy and I love this thing it is fun as hell like really really fun it's something that you know it's just it's just so goddamn trolly and I love it right there that man was supposed to catch my melee and you know bullshittery and I kinda rushed him because I knew he wasted his boost now when you're using this mall suit you have to keep in mind of you know your your wonderful you know boost on this thing because the boost on this small suit runs out real quick and um, when you're using the small suit I highly advise use your boost in you know heavy type of you know stagger type of weapons and as you can see I was able to slap the good old gog in him and um yeah at that point he was like oh my gog <laughs> And um, this player, I was able to like defeat him like three times, and you know, having to have to fight a Gog must have been you know pretty damn frustrating because he probably had it all like set up. He was probably you know he was ready to to defeat me, but you know I you know I just basically picked the right suit for the right moment. So it just it was it was pretty damn hilarious, and um, you know. I haven't used this GOG for a very long time. And I love this. I love this thing. After you, like, figure out how this thing works. In this specific match, it's probably like, uh, one of these matches where I haven't used this mole suit in a very, very long time. I was like, you know what? I'm going to actually bring this to, you know, the freaking, the battle. And look at that. God damn, the diameter of catching uh, a melee on this thing is insane. You know why it's insane? Because of the width and, you know, the width of this mobile suit is so, so freaking long. This man broke his legs. Sad story. Feel you. I understand you. Now, I swear to God, man, you can catch melees with this thing. And catching melees is devastating. And this mobile suit is... Uh, I love it. It's fun as hell. Um, the thing about this mall suit is that you have to keep in mind that you know if you are getting attacked by a group of enemies, you have to think twice because if the group of enemies figure out how to stagger you, they're able to go for heavies. And you know people love going for heavy swings against this mobile suit. And I was able to stagger this man. Boom! I'm actually surprised my um. The second beam shot did not stagger him, but I believe it's because it did not connect the other um, beam. And look at this. Savage, dude. This mobile suit is too savage. And I swear to God, it's not me. It's this mobile suit. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. That is crazy. And like I said, man, 
the gogs. The world needs to be under control by the gogs. You know what I mean? Now, man oh man, I cannot wait to literally play the Cyberpunk 2077. And I gave this mall suit the Cyberpunk 2077 colors, and this was like literally a year ago, and it was pretty damn crazy. And man oh man, I'm just so close from wanting to play that game. And so I swear to god, I cannot wait to get my hands on that game. I already have my hands on it, but I'm just waiting. Waiting. And look at this mall suit. Looking all slouched and shit. Look slouched. Look at Savage. This is the the Slap Machine 2000. You gotta keep that in mind. The GOG is life. And um, yeah, the Cyberpunk, man. Trump Trump shouldn't miss out on that game. That's how freaking amazing that game's going to be. Now, at this specific moment, I wanted to boost. I wanted to get into a really good position with this small suit. And um, a lot of the team members were basically chilling at B. Um, to to win this map, I'm going to let you figure it out. I already know how to win this map. I always have to deal with um, players who don't know how to win this map. Now, yeah, this thing is very huge target. And as you can see, there are two enemies aiming their shots at me. And I cannot do a single thing about it. And that sniper was able to knock me out which that sniper good target for him amazing he's like oh nice big old gawk I'm going to shoot him but man oh man the tides will turn real hard he does not know the way of the gog the gog is the gog of all things now <laughs> yeah amazing mobile suit the reason why I say really amazing is because of the HP is pretty damn solid. The melee, the melee of this mole suit has probably one of the most dangerous melees, one of the most aggressive melees in low tier matches. Very, very aggressive melee, very dangerous. You do not want to get caught by you know the melee of this mole suit. As you can see, you know that like when you're getting close to this mobile suit and if this mobile suit catches your melee you're gonna need to know that it's going to take a quarter of your health with the melee and look at that heavy duty slaps right here insane dude this mobile suit is insane now do I think this mobile suit broken uh not really it's um it's broken in melee but you know you can knock it down you can wither it down because of how slow this mole suit is and whoever landed that artillery basically you know literally won us the game right there whoever landed the artillery worked like a charm which you know amazing and you know that's the thing about this mole suit the reload of this small suit is a very big problem as you can see I'm trying to get this mobile suit reloaded and boom the splash damage was able to splash him with a really good old fashioned slap with this mobile suit and you know you're gonna be slapping a lot of oppo opponents with this small suit for days right here at this specific moment I should have went after the other support And the supports were doing such a really good job in the enemy team. Now, when you're using the GOG, it's basically a frontline mobile suit. And meaning frontline, your teammates are supposed to go in the front lines with you. You cannot go to the front line by yourself. But you can do it if there are enemy snipers. If there are a bunch of enemy snipers, you can go full on freaking GOG mood, you know what I mean? And, um. Yeah. GOG is TOG, man. GOG is POG. You know what I mean? This thing is 
wickedly amazing. And the cool thing about this mall suit is that you can make mistakes and you come in like rushing in real fast with this. And um, right here at this specific moment I was trying to get right into this guy's area at diameter and this goof right here did a really good job slapping me down with his heavy attack now this mall suit yeah it takes a lot to knock it down it's it takes a lot to stagger this mall suit and um, when it's in maneuver armor mode oh man it's just you, you can't <laughs> you can't hide from the maneuver armor maneuver armor is pretty damn crazy stuff and you know the rockets Oh man, look at this. I can shoot this rockets while I'm in flight mode. Right over here, he boosted smart of the support, trying to do everything to get out of the clutches of this crazy mole suit, but this man was basically outnumbered. And um, the goof was doing a really nice job, and he was trying to get out of this whole engagement. I wanted to go after the goof because he basically ran out of his boost. And look at that. Man, oh man that dog player is doing some work I was able to stop this man go for a stagger this man was able to catch me I don't understand how he was able to catch me um for sure for sure I should have had the advantage with you know his shield being a big big you know problem for him but his shield was able to you know stop me from going in for the second melee and you know when you're using this mobile suit you have like around three melees so you go one slap two slap three slap with the gog and yeah it's pretty damn savage stuff when you're using this thing um yeah the melee priority is pretty damn legit this is one of these big freaking you know <laughs> big robots that just it's just satisfying it feels good to use and um i don't know why but it just this robot kind of reminds me of dr eggman in a way and uh <laughs> i kind of like it now at this specific moment i wanted to get out of this really really bad engagement and you know as you can see you can actually dodge bees with this mall suit it's you know it's got some really good boost it's got some pretty damn heavy duty strong boost to get out of really bad engagements look at the the speed of the boost the speed of the boost is really quick it's like I can't believe the speed of the boost can even push this mall suit out of these really bad engagements now the boost runs out very quick but the speed of the boost is insane and um, right over here one of my team members accidentally hit me from my feet the backlash was you know knocked me down there are going to be a lot of moments of you know your team members knocking you down and when they knock you down it's because of you know how big and crazy this freaking uh suit really is and at this specific moment I wanted to go after this one guy got the kill boom nice kick-ass mobile suit this is an amazing fun mobile suit um, I've been able to see players get first place with this mobile suit and man there are so many good players out there who know how to use this thing uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty damn good with this mall suit. I, I just barely got started, and I'm trying to get into the groove of, you know, the groove of the GOG. The, go the GOG way. And it's pretty damn solid stuff. And, um, you know, it's just kind of funny as hell, because, you know, Xeon, like, who in the right mind in Xeon would be like, Hey guys, let's make something so goddamn huge and so goddamn intimidating to the point that the enemies are going to squeal and and cry because of the gog. A man oh man. The gog is fabulous.
if I had to rate this mobile suit, I'd give this mobile suit a 9 out of 10. The reason being 9 out of 10 is because this mobile suit has, you know, a very long time for the weapons to reload and the speed wise, but you know, having this really heavy duty, you know, melee on this mobile suit is what makes for it. Like it's just oh, it can handle. It can handle moments so good, so solid. The only way that um, a lot of people can stop this mobile suit if they work, you know, together and they have to do mad teamwork to take this mobile suit down. Which that's what these guys did. And um, throughout this whole match, there were a bunch of, you know, team members were working together to take this mobile suit down. And you know, I was able to get a really good score with this mobile suit this match. The last match was pretty damn solid. I've had you know good matches with this mobile suit long, long ago, but I never did recorded them. But yeah, this this thing is pretty, pretty damn disgusting. Especially if you literally throw this in uh, low tier matches. I remember when this uh, god came out in in low tier matches it was just like everybody would be like the gog is life man the gog is the thing man i'm gonna tell you something all right the gog is the most powerful mobile suit in the entire game it is it's it's the best of mobile suit in all of gundam it's it's the best one it's the best even better than unicorn yes you heard me I'm just kidding. Unicorn's better. <laughs> but yeah, this 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 gog is just man, it's just a it's a it's freaking amazing. As you can see, um our team members were doing really good work throughout this whole match a lot of the team members were doing really nice work I wanted to use the splash damage of this mobile suit to get that man off guard but he wasted his boost and I wasn't able to you know get close enough into that man's range as you can see there were basically three enemies trying to focus sort of focus on me and um, I had to let number two try to get brunt of that force because I did not want to waste my life for no reason sort of push and I was able to get right into this moment and um, at this specific moment his friend was able to save him and throughout a lot of these moments in this match <laughs> a lot of the players were able to save themselves from the clutches of the claw and the claw is you know the gog away it's pretty damn goggy And at this specific moment, I wanted to launch artillery because, yeah, artillery stuff. And I wanted to get into, you know, a really, really, you know, fast engagement over there. I wanted to get as quick as possible because the more muscle that our team has over there, the more power. And that's the thing about the GOG. Um, to use this GOG, you have to get with your guys you have to get with your team members and be you know the big old muscle of the group you have to be the guy like oh everybody has to shoot your your goddamn weapons on that mole suit or it's going to do some really crazy ass damage now as you can see I was able to knock two guys right there knock another guy right there look at that crazy damage and that goof was just basically getting after me you know he was doing a really good job to stopping me a lot of the times in this match but dude when you're literally fighting against a bunch of <laughs> supports man it is really really savage and you know knowing the rabbit type it's a pretty damn slow mobile suit but it packs one hell of a freaking punch and it has really really good armaments using that mole suit. And um, if this mole suit ever comes out in the shop, 
do I recommend it? Yeah, it's it's pretty damn freaking legit. I I enjoy the the whole gameplay of how this mole suit works. It's you know it's a sumo wrestler, you know a a robotic goddamn sumo wrestler that you know it's it's got a really catchy name and the catchy name is the Gog, you know and the the Gog, yeah, it's it's really nice. And um at this specific point in moment our team was doing a really really good job even having a you know a specific loss in this mole suit our team was doing work they were doing some really nice work look at that we were so close and when I mean so close we were so close from you know having this game and um, I kind of dropped in really really so too soon so I wanted to chill back here for a little bit I did not want to go in combat mode in this against you know two guys I wanted these uh, fast boys to go up there and do some really nice damage and man look at that double stagger right there with the the rockets and that's probably like the first time I've ever like seen that and I was like yo that's nice I kinda jumped down onto this guy's just, you know boost and I felt like that boost kinda messed me up in like the worst most possible way I knew he was going to go boost mode so I went boost mode and look at this teamwork right here savage look at that hell yes and they were doing really really nice work and we were so close and when I mean so close we were so like in there fighting a lot of these enemy players as you can see the enemy player was getting knocked out right there and um, we just needed this one guy, one kill, we could have win the game right here. And you know, this thing is pretty damn nice. This Zaku was doing a good job trying to get out of the clutches of this mole suit. And yeah, that's basically it. And yeah, hell of a mole suit. Fun. And see you all later. Take care.